From the campus studios of Saarland University, this is Ropecast, a lighthearted podcast for learners of English, with Roger Charlton and Peter Tischer. Hello and welcome to another episode of Ropecast. Hi, Roger. Good to see you. Hello, Peter. You know, Roger, something I've been wanting to tell you for quite a while. I'm really enjoying this podcast. Well, yes, with we have you. fun, don't we? Yeah, and it's always nice to to do this with a with a good friend. I mean, we've <laughs> we've known each other for quite a while, so yeah, I'd just but... like to make this public that I really enjoy this. Well, thanks so much, Peter. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, today it's yeah. not good friends that I wanted to talk about, but false friends. Ah, okay, but <laughs> <laughs> linguistic false yeah. friends, I hope. Um, I I'm think... not sure if our listeners know exactly what we mean by this. So, okay. do you want to tell them? I'm sure you are familiar with this phenomenon. Yes, and we may have to warn our listeners for today's podcast is probably hard to understand for regular learners of English. It's addressed to. German learners of English or English learners of German, because actually a false friend is a word that exists in a similar or almost identical way in both languages, but means something different. Yeah. So, and we're taking English and German as an example. Although I think there are other pairs of languages where they would be very similar. Most certainly, but we can't pick every language, no. I guess. Maybe it'll become clearer if we pick an example. You have one. Well, I think what you mentioned recently, we have these plastic cards here on campus, which right. we can use to pay for meals. Right. It's those are payment cards, sort, exactly. of, sort of like yeah. credit cards, yeah. but you can put money on it. Yeah, and there's a, there's this little machine. You stick the card inside, and then it gives you the possibility to to put some money inside, put yeah. in a bill, and then it'll sort of charge your card. Yeah. And on the screen, it says in German, Ihr aktueller Kontostand ist. Yes. And then it says the amount. And in English, it says, Your actual card value is. And then it says the same amount. Right. Problem is, actual does not mean the same as aktuell. No. They should have picked the word current, which yeah. means at this time. Yeah. Actual is actually something different. <laughs> actual means the real one, your real amount. So the machine is actually telling you here the real amount, not the one you may have thought. The real amount is only five dollars yeah. or five euros in that case. Yeah. So actually is a wrong one. That's a very good example though, yeah. of how people have not understood that there are such Spe things. As By the way, speaking friends. of card. Yeah. Card does not always mean carte. No. The carte that shows you cities and roads and all that in English is not a card, it's a map. Exactly. Sometimes it works, though. A playing card is yeah. a carte. Yeah. So I think that would be an example of what we call semi-false friend. Yeah. Where there's some overlap, but yeah, there are also right. some important differences. So watch it when you use the word carte in yeah. English. Card does not always mean the same thing. You got other examples? Yes. As you know, we're on campus and we're... I would describe myself as an academic, mm -hmm. and there is a German word that sounds very similar to that. Akademiker. Yeah. Now, by chance, we both fall into both categories, but the categories are not identical. Right. Uh, and ein Akademiker, for me, is a graduate. Right. So somebody who has finished his academic studies. Yeah. Whereas in English, an academic would be... Some, normally somebody working at a university... Right. Only working in academe, as we say, mm -hmm. that is researching, teaching on campus. There are actually other ones that play a role at university. Yeah. In German, we say Hochschule. Yes. For any kind of, as they say, tertiary educational institutions. So yeah. Hochschule would be Fachhochschule, Universität, and everything. And if you take that back to English, Hochschule would give you. High school. Yeah, and some of my students and, and write that. Let me go on, let me go on. High school is, of course, in German, gymnasium. But if you say gymnasium, gymnasium, <laughs> that is Turnhalle. Yeah. <laughs> so you have a whole row of uh, false friends here. Exactly. That's interesting, isn't yeah. it? <laughs> there are also problems with things like to overhear and to oversee. Mm -hmm. They're hard, though. Yeah. Can you explain that over here? Well, to overhear is to hear by chance. Like maybe you're sitting on a bus and mm -hmm. um, you listen in on somebody's conversation that you're not really participating in. 
I overheard someone say such and such. Whereas the German, well, linguistic equivalent, if you mm. want to call it that, über hören, yeah. means quite the opposite. Yes. You did not hear it. Right. So that's, that's, <laughs> that's more than a false friend. That's a true enemy, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> One more. Okay. In German, you say genial. You know, maybe an idea, uh -huh. an invention. Okay. Yeah. And, and that would be genial? That's what my students tend to write. Uh-huh. But genial would be something like um, gastfreundlich. Uh -huh. Ein freundlicher Mensch, genial person. Okay. Ist ja genial. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, but we both are geniuses. Of course. Okay. I just wanted our listeners to know that. And true friends true friends and of course our listeners are friends too and they'll tune in again in a short while i hope bye 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 you've been listening to ropecast brought to you by sarland university featuring roger charlton and peter tisha tune in for the next edifying episode on your podcast dial <laughs>